this was a win. In the two-part series, Old Man Cutting Down a Tree, Too Old, this is the second part to that series. And this is a tractor doing the grapple work or cleanup work. And I didn't, this is the trees 10 through 15, and I didn't film the first 10 trees, and I should have because about 8 out of the 10 trees got snagged on other trees, either with limbs or vines. And I actually had to knock them down, push them down with the loader bucket on the tractor with the front wheels off the ground. It was not fun and very discouraging. The tree work has gotten better since then. And this work, although it's aggravating and I feel my age, this work is keeping me healthy mentally and physically, although it is exhausting. Fortunately, in this area of my property, I have a couple different avenues to take, routes to take, to get this wood, this brush, to the street. And I'm just showing you the longest way to get it from this section of the woods. You'll see the tractor disappear into my yard and then pop out on your left at the street where I'm piling the brush for the town to pick up. I want to be clear, I'm not a logging expert, and I'm not an expert at operating heavy equipment, including this tractor. I do do my best. I am getting better. So please don't necessarily copy what I'm doing. Uh, and I do get smoother with this grapple as this video goes on. I get better and better every time I use it. And my goal is not to be abusive on the loader or the grapple and break hydraulic lines uh, or, or stress the frame or chassis of the tractor. It's really gratifying to me to answer comments from my viewers about ATVs, side-by-sides, and uh, a tractor. Um, or if they, if they just have a, a question, uh, please remember I'm offering my opinion. In cases with ATVs, especially side-by-sides, I have a, a good history to work from. And one thing that's unique about this channel is I'm an, an actual purchaser. My machines aren't given to me to demo. I buy them and I use them. So please continue to comment. Please also criticize. I Believe me, 55 years old, I, I, I want to learn how to do things right. So uh, please don't hesitate to offer your comments if I'm doing something wrong or you have a better way to do something. I've cleared away all the small brush and have 60 large trees to take down, but I'm going to give you a break and upload in the near future some side-by-side -side ATV and zero-turn mower videos, so you can look forward to that.
this load the wheels are off the ground on this load and it's aggravating because I'm trying to get as many as a little sticks as I can on the ground picked up within the grapple so I'm trying to apply pressure on the front of the grapple to do that I don't think it's good form to be having the front wheels come off the ground when you're using the grapple this is an opinion I, I really am starting to believe it's easier at times rather than just try to pick up every little twig with a grapple get off and just load them by hand it's easier on the machine and I think it's more efficient so John Marauder John Deere 3046R trivia this tractor was taken off lawn duty this year as I've discussed in other videos so I could leave the loader on it and the grapple or bucket and do this tree work and grading work and I have put more hours on this tractor doing grapple and loader work than I have if it was cutting the lawn. So my plan is really working well and the tractor is doing a lot of work taking trees to the road. You have to be alert when you're doing loader work or grapple work. If I would have ran over this log, one, it would have scared the heck out of me, but two, if it was only one side of the tractor, it could tip over the tractor. You, I have uh, the, the quick connect on the, on, the, um, on the bucket, on this grapple, a branch actually disconnected one of the levers, pushed it up and the, the grapple in a later video was coming off the machine. I noticed that. First I thought it was broken. Also I had a high hydraulic line break on me and uh, an o-ring connector on a hydraulic line break. So you have to be alert when you're doing this work. Watch your loader. I was getting aggravated picking up these little st sticks that are left behind because I've cleaned up this area two or three times this year. And then I've restored this box scraper and said, why don't I try using the box scraper to pile up the small twigs that the grapple can't get. And it really did a great job in doing that. Um, the, the grass and weeds in this area are thin anyways from all the trees I've taken down. so. This technique worked very well um, for my property. Thank you for returning to my channel. I, I hope you like this video. If you do, please hit the like button, share it. I hope you consider subscribing to my channel. 90% of my viewers are not subscribers. Please consider subscribing. Um, I appreciate the support and I appreciate the comments. All my viewers and comments, I really am uh, I'm quite fortunate. Thank you. I, I hope you're enjoying these videos. I'm, I hope you're learning from my victories and my mistakes. If you ride motorsports, please wear a helmet for your safety and set an example for others. And I hope to see you on the trail. Thank you for joining me for this victory series video.